Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on simultaneous equation with uh, series and IGCSE question. Now it goes like this: uh, one squared is one, and one squared plus two squared is five, and one squared plus two squared plus three squared is fourteen. One squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared is equal to thirty, and then next two lines and then last one says one square plus two square plus three square plus four square plus n square is equal to a n cubed plus b n square plus n six now note here that this is the trick here the last this is the last uh, number there as it were so you've got a n cubed plus b n square plus n six and then it says uh find a and b for the first part of the question and then secondly it says expand n over six into m plus 1 into 2m plus 1 and then comment now because we're looking for two uh, unknowns here so that that does suggest to us that we need the simultaneous equations for this uh, exercise and then also note here that we've got n there and got n there and got n there and we've got n there it then follows that if you so in this case here our n is 1 and in this case our n is 2 and in this case our n is 3 in this case our n is 4 right if we then do uh, because for the first one our n is 1 we do a 1 cube as in a n cube there plus b 1 squared plus 1 over 6 n is 1 there and then we have uh, again for 2 this is our n there so that becomes a 2 cubed b2 squared plus n over 6, 2 over 6 there. Okay, if we then multiply um, both equations by 6, we end up with 6a plus 6b plus 1 is equal to 6, and that gives us now gives us equation 3. Uh, then for, the, for equation 2 then becomes uh, 48 because you're multiplying by 6 now because um, 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4. 8 times 6 is 48, so go for 8a there. 4 times 6 is equal to 24, so that's 24b. And multiply that by 6, you get 2 there. And multiply 5 by 6, we get 30. All right, so now if we then multiply equation 3 by 8, now this is our equation 3 now, and multiply that by 8, we get 48a plus 48b plus 8 is equal to 48. That now becomes our equation 5. So equation 3 then becomes equation 5 after multiplication and then it says equation 5 minus equation 4 that means this one here minus that one there okay the 48 a's cancel out so we end up with 48 b minus 24 b and that gives us 24 b plus 6 there is equal to 18 now when 6 goes across the right hand side the sign will change so we don't have 24b is equal to 12 because 18 minus 6 is 12. Now if we divide both sides by 24, we end after simplification, we end up that b is equal to a half. If we then substitute b's, uh, b's a half into equation 3, which is this one here, yeah, we then have 6a plus 6 times a half because b is a half plus 1 is equal to 6 okay and um, 6 times a half is 3 so we end up with 6a plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 now this one is 4 there when 4 goes across the right hand side the sign will change so you have 6 minus 4 and that's 2 so 6a is now 2 so a is 2 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3 and those are answers so b is a half and a is one third now can you expand this yourself and see what you get and then uh, do some commentary on that one? Thank you for watching and please, please subscribe. Bye bye now.